So starting with the first assumption, we got the going concern. Sometimes it's called the continuity assumption. And what it does is it assumes the entity or the business will continue to operate normally well into the future. And to illustrate the, import, the uh, importance of this assumption, so let's say this here is the most recent annual period for a company. Okay, so this has passed here and they're going to issue the financial statements for this accounting period sometime here, sometime after December 31st. But let's say that something really bad happens in this period. Let's say there's some kind of maybe freak accident in a factory, if it's like a manufacturing company. And all of a sudden, this company, they have to claim bankruptcy. Or let's say that they're going to be selling all their assets to somebody or they're going to be liquidating all their assets or something where the company is pretty much ending then. But they still issue the financial statements for this accounting period here, for this annual period to external users. How relevant is the information or how useful is the information going to be in those financial statements? Not really relevant because when external users are going to look at the financial statements for this period, they're going to think that everything is all good, right? And they're going to continue to assume that everything is still all good over here, right? Things do change in companies, but not that drastically right, where they're claiming bankruptcy. And if that is happening, then that needs to be disclosed to all the external users, right? So when external users are looking at a company's financial statements, in order to help guarantee that relevance, they are assuming that the entity, the business, will continue to operate normally well into the future, that there's not gonna be these crazy drastic changes because then those financial statements become less and less relevant.